With venues closed and concerts canceled, Albuquerque's live music scene has taken a big hit during the pandemic. But as News 13's Jamie Seymour shows us, some locals are still finding ways to keep the music going. It's been a long nine months for Albuquerque's live music scene, missing scenes like this one. In a band, you play shows and then you go to shows and you watch support your, your buddies. Jake Pacheco is the singer and rhythm guitarist for local rock band Anesthesia. With no live shows or rehearsals at the beginning of the pandemic, they had to get creative to keep the music going, writing a song separately and sharing recorded parts through Dropbox. Did a Zoom of all of us kind of playing to the song together, and then we put that out on YouTube, so we made a, made a song and a video without even being in the same room together. Hey! Pacheco says even as they're pushed to be more creative, it's hard without live shows and the fans, especially for area music venues. We've been forced to close uh, going on nine months now, so no, uh, no revenue for nine months. Joe Anderson owns several local venues like Launchpad, El Rey, and Moonlight Lounge. Even with the doors closed, the Launchpad and other venues are sponsoring live streamed concerts to still get bands on stage. There are musicians who depend on live uh, performance to pay their bills. Pacheco says the best way to support your favorite musicians and venues is to watch these live streams until the public health order allows for live concerts again. Dive in and watch it. Throw comments out there that you're watching it, like it, love it, you know, give them thumbs up because it feels good to know that people are still listening and people are into it. Jamie Seymour, KRQE News 13. If you're looking to support your local venues, some like the Launchpad are making patron subscription services. We have a link to that information on our website that's always on krqe.com.